G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the World of Warcraft, Dragonflight on the Human Paladin. Making my way over to the Dragon Scale Base Camp as part of the Opian an Open Orientation. Uh, we've got a couple of main quests here, but I'll try to get this one done first. I suppose um, when we do the Ascara one, I'll be able to do this one as well. Oh, I went right past it, did I? The Dragon Scale Base Camp. Okay. Where to first talk to you? Have you anything new to research? Oh, okay. Welcome to base camp, Artraxius. It took Toddy and me a while to settle on the perfect site to establish camp, but I couldn't be happier with our selection. Easy access to ruins, proto-dragon breeding grounds, and of course, the dragon flights. Why not take a few minutes to explore the camp and meet some of the suppliers helping to fuel the expedition. Let me know what you find. Which part of my library should I teleport in next? Oh my goodness. Okay. Re Rihanna. Take a look. I sell all manner of wares. Every artifact reveals to us a hidden piece of this land's great history. And here there is so much to have uh, yet to learn. There is so much we have yet to learn. Have you found anything worth studying lately? Oh uh, no. Not really. Pleasure doing business. That's all right. Not quite. What else do we need? Cata cataloggers, supplier. What's on your mind? Yeah, gotta help me. Doc Nana's keeps sending me his little marmon. Friends that tug on my beard. All right, buddy. Can I have a stool and put your feet up by the fire, friend? Did he ever tell you that? What the heck was that? Is that the doctor sending? Throwing bananas at ya? Did I ever tell ya of how me granddaughter Tori first found her griffin Wildfeather? How did Tori find Wildfeather? Well, Tori didn't really find Wildfeather. Wildfeather found her. When Tori was but a wee little lass, she wandered off from camp as she's wont to do, you know. Grandpap whiskers, laughs as he recalls old memories, and also she's wont to do she got herself into trouble. Yeah, right into a pack of forest trolls, she has wandered. Nasty uns. Out for blood. <laughs> this guy's freaking out. Because, where, where is he? Doc Nana's right here. Tossing bananas at him. Oh, and at me too. Man, Doc Nana's. He's off the chain. There she was, cornered at the base of Jinna, Jinthalalor. When a fierce griffin cry rings out over the whole winterlands, Wildfeather swooped in, scared off the trolls, backed up Tori on her back, and they've been inseparable ever since. It's even more impressive considering Wildfeather had hatched just a day before. It's all true, of course, Wildfeather. Hang on a second. Do we do a quest up there? Up the top? I remember there was somebody in a cage. And they got... Taken away? I can't remember. Is it? Was that Toddy? Uh, I want to ask about something else. Uh, I think we're good, actually. Let's keep Listen. moving on. Explorers. There's nothing I can't scale. Pathfinder Jeb inspects the knot on his climbing rope while he speaks. New explorers often ask me how I've survived in the wilderness. Wilderness is long. They expect a deity or a guide, a list of tools, or some lucky trinkets. Who is that? But I just tell them one word. Prepare. And it's the same thing I'll tell you. The wilderness is harsh, but if you have a plan and the right supplies, well, it hasn't failed me yet. Mountains to climb, vistas to see. Mountains to climb. Okay. Boss Magor. My artisans are the best on Azeroth. Everything from shovels to ducklings. Uh, and we've got the creeper renowned inside. There's Toddy. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, it looks like. Oh, I've got multiple dragon arm artifacts to hand in. Wind in your 75 rep, nice. Look always to the sea. Your hard work has been essential to our success in the Dragon Isles. To that end, I have been authorized to issue this supply allotment to assist you. Keep up the good work, adventurer. 
smooth sailing. Right. Increase the supply. Oh, what's this? Yep, I'll take that. <laughs> that was a quick couple thousand of gold there. Um, and there was this as well. That's a 306. Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. Go first, but I've got a story after. You met my grandpa, did you? Well, don't believe all the stories. He loves to brag about the family. See you at the next adventure. Enough chatting. An adventure is out there waiting for you. you go find it. All right. So we've done the base camp. So now we can go to Marukai. Oh, actually, let's get this fly path. Not that I reckon we'll ever use it, but just grab it anyway. Now, I could use this teleportation pad because I've opened it up on another character. Um, which will take me over here, which really, by the time I finish talking about it, doesn't really help me out too much. If I was going all the way over there, that would be something. So actually, I might save it, because there's a half hour cooldown after you use it, or at least when I use it, I don't know if you can improve upon that. So there are like some unlocks which are happening, you know, on your, on one character, which will unlock it across the account. And that seems to be one of them. And we've got all these reputations and so I can see on them there was... I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it now, but... There were quests. Oh, I'm sure that... Oh, there it is. I think it was just off by one. But if you look over here, we've got the chapters, right? And so we're currently doing Dragon Isles Emissary, I suppose. Um, but then you've got all those other ones to unlock. I've unlocked a... I can see this Silver Purpose unlocked. But I'm, I'm going to try and do it in order. From the top to bottom. I don't know if that really matters. But uh, that's the way I'm thinking of doing it, at least right now. Maybe that my my idea will change if somebody says, oh, it doesn't really matter what way. Which, which order you do it. So, uh, I'll wait for somebody to step in and say that. <laughs> as Sanso Khan sighs, Okir vocalizes for her. The Maruk, as a people, are not staunchly against outsiders, but we do require any potential allies to prove their worth. As you meet the clans and aid in our ventures, word will spread of your support. On the lower level of the Krutal on the hill, you will find one of the Kanam, Matra's daughters, who can help you see where you stand with our people. Be sure to introduce yourself. Interesting, seeing as I, I thought I proved myself already. Did a whole bunch of things for him, right? We gotta, we gotta prove ourselves even further. What roads have you traveled? I am the quartermaster for the Maruk. If you prove useful to us, then maybe I can supply you with some of our goods. May your family be blessed with daughters. Outsider, you are proving yourself useful. Let this warm you on cold nights. And when it does, remember that we are friends who sing grins. I see you doing great things for our people, Artraxius. Farewell. Care for the land, and it will care for Ah, you. Dragon Rider, your help always makes us prosper. In a Maru tradition, that means you share in this bounty, so take this, and know that as long as I have anything to say about it, you're always welcome in Murakai. See you soon. Where will the wind take you? Same Go thing with well. that. Alright, so we've got a few things we can open. A few bags. A lot of supply, nice. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. I look forward to see how you contribute to the Maruk. Fight with fury. All right. Uh, and now... Oh, that's... Oh, we've done it. Oh, that was quick. Okay. So now I'll make my way to that pad. I'll use it to get ourselves over to the Azure Span. Again, probably if I just fly... The It'd be quicker. Oh, but while we're here, I might customize my Drake. 
It's been a while since I've done that. Let's do that. So I'm using the Highland Drake at the moment. Uh, and I've got... What have I got? I've got this skin color available to me now. Although I might stick with the blues. I think it matches what I've got on at the moment. This was unlocked by doing uh, stuff with the uh, dragon seal. Hang on, I'll show you where. So over in this area, the allegiance to one. I uh, did a lot of, I showed my allegiance to Rathion and had to do a whole bunch of quests and daily quests. And then eventually I was able to unlock uh, that particular skin color, which I do use on my other some of my other characters, but I might stick to blue on this guy. All right, what else we got? Horns. Oh yeah, I'm liking I'm liking these horns. Might go with that one. Couple different horn styles. Throat, bare throat. What's this on the back? It's gonna add some. Oh, you know, you some some fins going, some spikes, spike club. Can change the saddle color. I think I'd actually like probably that one, or maybe this one. How do I get that? Professions. Okay, I might have to try and get that one. Um, well, I don't really have much available to me. I'm gonna go for that one for now. On the crest. Some spikes. Some more spikes. Mm, I don't know. What do you reckon about that? I think maybe it's too many. Too many spikes. Horned, multi-horned. Single horn, hair. Give him some hair. Give him a do. Okay. Choose the hair color if you want. Make it... Oh, look at that toothy mouth. Horn on the nose, sure. Spikes on the chin, some hair on the chin. Yeah, I've got a beard, he's got a beard. <laughs> we both got beards. Alright, that looks alright. Brow, bushy brow, plates. Hello, bear. Change the eyesight. Eye colour. Alright, I think that'll do for now. Otherwise, we will be here all day. What customizations have you gone for? You can see there, there were several other colors as well to choose from. Um, you gotta unlock them, of course. Okay. I'm not sure about that horn on the nose, but anyway, let's let's keep moving. <laughs> let's keep moving, folks. Alright, so teleportation pad. Was over here. So let's utilize this and get over here. Yeah, hopefully as I unlock more and more of these, they'll probably they might prove to be more useful. Like, for example, if you're all the way down here or something and there's a pad nearby, and you need to get all the way over here super fast. Um, then, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we gotta go over here to Yaskara. And then we've gotta go and do this, find the first challenge of Tear in the Azure Span. Which is then over there. Folks, if you didn't know um, from previous episodes, or you just didn't know at all, uh, I do actually have a Twitch page, twitch.tv slash Azerothdan, where I do 
casual streams and uh, get to hang out with some of you while I'm doing some raiding or dungeons or just world questing my place of classic just depends what's going on how I feel that day but the important part is uh, folks that happen to be awake at that time uh, it's a good good opportunity to say hello so yeah twitch.tv slash Azeroth Dan and I try to do a occasional stream here too on YouTube sort of more random at times but definitely do do those okay who am I talking to you the day just became more interesting dragon isle supplies Careful out there greetings adventurer please please take these supplies to aid you in your efforts to help our community I'll pass your story along come back for soon Orientation Iskara, welcome to Iskara, friend. Word of your exploits in Brackenhide is already spread among our people. You have already met many of us, and there are more who would like the chance to exchange knowledge and wares with you. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with some of the friendly faces around Iskara. We are a community that supports one another, so just as you have much to offer us, many of our people have much to offer you in return. <laughs> we'll remember you. Oh, we did have a little giggle. There we go. So let's open those. Get our supplies. You here to help? Uh, no. Sorry, Watch you're the yourself. wrong person. What do you have to trade? I specialize in armor for your wrists and shoulders. Seek out Lontupit and Omoprita. Okay. Oh, you do too. 376 geared, rank 14. And then ranks it. Man, I don't know. By the time I get to rank 22, do I, will I need that? Maybe. Next time, I'll have even better offerings. Naruk. And who might you be? Oh, hello again, friend. While I prefer the topic of a nose, if you want to discuss the different forms, I've studied that dragon such as your companion can take. I am the Tusker for you. Hello again, traveler. Bring any news from afar? Oh, have you know my ecological research is not limited to gnolls. I also have a keen interest in dragons and their many forms. Feel free to come and chat with me about them anytime. Uh, here we go. And so if you unlock certain ranks, you can get like blue scales and all sorts of upgrades for your drakes. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Appearance-wise, anyway. Ah, uh, who do I have to talk to here? Recipe supplier. If you're after goods, I have plenty. Okay. Cool. I look forward to trading it. Hey, Pachu, what's... What's this all about? <laughs> well, what are you? Someday I want to see all of Azeroth. Okay. Ah, oh, you can trade your charms in here. Okay, so you're the pet. You're the pet person. Gotcha. Yes, I, bring fish, please. I need the mount supply, which is you. I have plenty to offer. Looks like some of my Otooks have taken a shine to you already. I hope I can entrust one with you someday. They are lifelong companions. Okay. Cool. I'll have more for you with me. Defeat Patcher. Oh, that's a world quest. Okay. Who speaks before me? Orientation is Scarra. I hope you have a pleasant time in Iskara. As you now know now, many of us are fine craftsmen and merchants. I encourage you to continue to ask around and learn what all of my people have to offer keep the balance preserved okay so you can see there's a whole bunch of quests around but i'm i'm really sticking to main storyline and reason being is if i go out there and do every single quest read every single quest uh by the time i've done all that by the time i've done all that in video format i feel like we're going to be up to the second content patch not the first one so base game, this is base game, first pass. Then we'll be up to, we'll be finished by about the second content batch. So on stream, I do actually go and do a lot of those quests. So yes, come on down there sometime, and if you'd like to see some of those, 
Uh, because they're just, there's so many of them. Okay. Oh. Come on, Artraxius. Come on. You'll have to have a little walk. So we're going to get from here to over there. Need to, need to get to a cliff. I think this will do. Build up some vigor. Get that blue, bluey, whitish sheen going. A little bit of height. Keep traveling in this direction. And watch out for that tree. Watch out for those trees. I actually know if the limbs and branches will stop you, but definitely that base, the base of a tree, and the main trunk, and the tree itself will put a stop to your fun. Still got a thousand two hundred. Uh oh. Uh oh, bit of lag. <laughs> I've had that a little bit actually, like I'm pressing the buttons and it just don't respond even though I've got the vigor for it. Also got this other ability called Bronze Time Lock, which you can set a point. Uh, to return. I don't know how far away you need to be before that ends, but I haven't really made use of it. I probably should. In tears, footsteps. It feels as if the statue reacts to your presence, its mechanism slowly awakening and coming to life. As you approach, the inscription on the statue emits a faint glow, Wield the Keeper's power and carry its light to a better future for us all. You have not shied away from your first challenge. An excellent sign. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say more. For what? this trial, you must leave the comfort of the ground behind. Oh, she grabbed me. Uh-oh. You're not going to throw me. only on your finesse. And precision to collect the enchanted ring. Wait a minute, you're not going to throw me, are you? Good luck. Uh oh. <laughs> she tossed the paladin. No one tosses a paladin. Wait, that's not right. Okay, um, launch yourself into the sky. I've got two minutes to grab ten. This uh, is like in Shadowlands. There was a world quest, I think, and probably just like a normal quest. Normal quest and a world quest to do this. Oh, whoops. Don't know why I thought that was my number two. My number two button there. So it's going to last two minutes. And the good thing is, as a paladin, I can always use Divine Shield. If I take a drop. There's a lot of rings down there. We've got five more to get. There's always a thing with this quest is you see one ring, you're like, oh, if I go just a little bit further, I'll be able to get it. And then you just miss it. And you turn around, try to get the one that you could have easily gotten. And, uh, and then you miss that one. Like then. <laughs> and it just keeps going. All right. Final one. Got 44 seconds before we drop. You have done well and earned your reward. Greetings, mortal. Admirably done. You have earned your reward. Bottled essence fuel the engine of innovation to create a spark of ingenuity. Farewell. Ah. The sweet taste of victory. There is great potential in small things. The bottled essence may feel light as a feather, 
Meadow holds immense power. Take it to the engine of innovation. We Until we meet again, adventurer. Safe travels. Oh, nice. She made a portal for us. All right. That's very convenient and nice of her. Most NPCs don't do that. They're like, oh, you need to get over there. Yeah, I'll see you there, buddy. You walk. I'll make a portal for myself. And off they go. Welcome back, adventurer. Thank you very much. Have you come for a challenge? Can you feel the potential emanating from the bottle? Perseverance reward. You have done well to pass the first challenge that keep a tear left behind. Though this is but the first step on your journey, I have faith you shall do well. You have earned your chance at furthering yourself in unlocking the secrets of the forge. Add the bottled essence to the engine of innovation and see what occurs. Stand strong. You have created your first spark of ingenuity. I am sure you shall use it wisely. Created by the engine of innovation in Valdraken, this unique crafting material can help an item achieve expertise beyond that of mortal ability. Ah. I shall test your metal. A spark of ingenuity, an item that can unlock potential unheard of since the time of Tyr himself. I'm sure you will use it wisely. More challenges await. In Tyr's footsteps, the Onaran Plains. Though you have done well in your first challenge, do not think you shall surpass all so easily. Keep it here meant the engine of innovation to be only for those worthy enough to use it wisely. If you are undeterred, the next challenge shall be found in the Onaran Plains. I look forward to testing your capabilities, Aventura. May do you wish to prove yourself worthy of Tears' invention? Then join me once more for a new challenge. Okay. Seek out my statue in the Onaran Plains, and I shall reveal your next trial. Sounds good. Yep, what do you want? Crafting orders. Ah, oh, there's a nifty thing you got from the Titan device. Now hand it over. Just kidding. I wouldn't know the first thing about how to use that. Do you? You go talk to Mimsy Spazzle Rock. She's got a whole gig set up finding folks to do something called crafting orders. You put up the goods, someone takes them, and crafts something for you. Simple, right? Now go talk to Mimsy to check it out, and don't tell her I sent you. See you around, friend. It's the first thing I'm gonna tell her. Okay. Let's head over there. Uh, we've also got to hand in open orientation. Open orientation, where are you? The Isles welcome you. You've met everyone? Excellent. Maybe they will stop hang around, hang around before May I hand the that waters in. Protect you. Aiding the Accord Dragonbane Keep. Travel to walk waking shores and lay siege to Dragonbane Keep. So this is a part of the weekly. Our allies once again seek your assistance as our efforts continue across the Isles. Words within the walls of Aldraken whisper resounding comfort, knowing your efforts have helped shape our future. Now then, to business. A lingering Jaredin threat moves upon the waking shores deep within the smoldering inferno of Dragonmain Keep. We must move to disrupt their advances. We await your return, Artraxius. Aspects watch over you. You've met everyone? Excellent. Maybe they will stop sending me emissaries. I hope you will continue to strengthen the bonds you have made with these communities. You have only to benefit each other. May the flights protect us. Alright, so we gotta go back out there, but let's find out about these crafting orders. Now, this, this siege, though, uh, I believe it happens every hour-ish. And it's not always every hour, so it's every... It's a, like a two-hour wait, so... Uh, considering right now it's 3.20pm for me, I don't think I'll be able to do it this episode. Yeah, what do you want? 
and I might not be able to do that in the next episode, so hopefully at some point I'll be able to just swing by and get that happening. Have a good one. Crafting orders, you can return to any crafting order representative to put in more orders for new equipment, as long as you have the components. Time is money, friend. Right, so if I want to make an order for piece of armor, uh, let's say, well, these are all item level 70, aren't they? Well, that, for example, I've got a supply. The Primal Flux, Draconium Ore, Servitide, Ceravite Ore as well. So I guess I've got to go buy that from the guild, uh, not the guild, the auction house. And then put it in, then say, oh yeah, 100 gold commission or something to craft this. All right, all right. Interesting. Welcome, friend. Interesting, okay. So that's done. Uh, we had to travel to the south gate. But now I've got these other quests. So I'm going to go to Onaran Plains. So let's go there. All right, we'll do that first then. Let's head off in that direction, which is... This way. That direction, alright, let's go. 